Hi everyone, this is Mehmu Sheikh and in today's video I will discuss about multitasking systems. So these multitasking systems are also called as time sharing systems. So here as you can see I will listed down some points and we will see each and every of these points to understand what is multitasking systems. Now the first point says multitasking systems allows user to perform more than one task at a time. Okay. So in multitasking system processor can execute more than one task at a time so now so in this point it's saying that processor can execute more than one process at the same time but that doesn't mean simultaneously processor is executing more than one task the speed of the processor is so fast that it can easily make a context switch between two processes so it gives an illusion to the user that processor is executing more than one process at the same time next point is multitasking system follows preemptive scheduling there are two types of scheduling preemptive scheduling and non preemptive scheduling in non preemptive scheduling what happens is whenever cpu is executing any process it cannot leave that process until it completes that process okay so but in preemptive scheduling it's not like that whenever the cpu is in the middle of execution of any process at that point if that process wants to come out from the cpu and wants to fulfill the request of any input and output device then it can come out from that cpu when that process come out from the cpu that means processor will put that process on wait and it picks an another process from the main memory and loads it in the cpu um, and and then execute it okay uh, next point is here equal span of time will be allotted to all the processes for execution in multitasking system an equal span of time will be allotted to various processes and each and every process has to execute itself inside the cpu only for that specific time Okay. Next point is when an executing process current time slice runs out, the process enters into wait state, and now the CPU picks up the next process from the main memory. Okay. So as I have told you that each and every process gets an equal span of time. Once the current time slice for that process runs out, then that process has to come out from the CPU, and then that process enters into wait state, and now the CPU will pick the next process from the main memory to execute. Next point is CPU makes context switching between multiple processes so quickly that it gives an illusion to the user that it's executing more than one process at a time. As I have told you, for executing more than one process at the same time, CPU makes a context switching, and they make that context switching so fast that it gives an illusion to the user that user start feeling that CPU is executing more than one process at the same time. Okay, now the next point is it allows more efficient use of computer hardware. Main memory can contain many processes, and some process might require input devices. Some process might require output devices. Okay, since here in this multitasking system, we have allotted some equal span of time to each and every process. That means only that much time that process. will get executed inside the cpu and in this system since every process will get a chance to get executed inside the cpu so every process now can get access to its desired hardware okay now the next point is multitasking automatically interrupts the running program saving its state and loads other program from the main memory in multitasking system at any point of time an interrupt can occur to running program and when an interrupt occur processor will save the state of that running program and start loading the next program from the main memory last point says these systems can change the priority of individual task so that important processes gets more time than less important one so here in multitasking system if there is any process who wants to get executed itself before the current process so in that case multitasking system will prioritize that process and send that process inside the cpu so that it gets executed earlierly okay because it has the higher priority okay so now these are the points 
which explains about multitasking system okay so i hope you understood each and every of this point and now we'll see about the advantages of multitasking or time sharing system you okay, know the first advantage is its effective sharing and utilization of computer resources okay so in multitasking or time sharing system since each and every process now get a chance to get executed inside the cpu and they can access to its desired resources so in this case we are effectively sharing and we are effectively utilizing each and every resources next point process waiting time reduces in multitasking system no process has to wait for a longer period of time suppose if there are three processes in the main memory and if the cpu is busy in executing only first process then process 2 and process 3 has to wait for a longer period of time but in this system since an equal amount of time is allotted to each and every process then in this case cpu has to execute each and every process only for that span of time so in this case each and every process will get a chance to get executed inside the cpu which reduces the waiting time for each and every process next point cpu idle time is reduced okay so now since there will be many processes present inside the main memory uh, that's why every time there will be some processes present inside the main memory for the cpu to execute so uh, there will be very less cpu idle time next assign priority to important jobs okay so in multitasking or time sharing system we have the concept of assigning the priority to certain process if there is a case that there is one process whose priority is high and that process needs to execute first uh, then multitasking system can set the priority to that process and this system will send that process inside the cpu before the less priority jobs and the last point is can handle multiple users okay so these multitasking systems or time sharing systems are capable enough in handling multiple users at the same time okay so these uh, this is everything about multitasking systems and the advantages of multitasking system so i hope you understood each and every point of multitasking systems uh, and how multitasking system works okay so that's all for this video guys i hope you like this video i hope you got some useful and valuable information out of this video if you like this video click on like button share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching